In today's video, I'm going to be discussing credit cards and a new report that was just released signaling massive financial distress across the entire country and what we can do about it if we're in this position. I have all the details for you here in the video. Let's get into it and discuss what's going on. First off, thank you so much for liking and sharing this video with those buttons right down below the video. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Also, if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe as well with the subscribe button down below. Again, thank Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. We've got to stick together right now. It is such a weird time over the last couple of years. I think we can all probably agree and money is tight for basically everybody. And you'll clearly see from the report here that I'm going to share with you in this video. Yeah, a lot of people are really, really struggling and um, it is not necessarily a great situation, but I want to give you some solutions and a practical approach going forward if this is something you're currently struggling with. So, Pretty interesting report here. Now, we're focusing on credit cards. Now, obviously, there's a lot of different things we could be talking about, but this report is only talking about credit cards. Now, get this. I want to talk about credit card delinquencies. In other words, we're talking about severely delinquent. In other words, people that are more than 90 days late, that is actually considered severely delinquent. Now, as of right now, or what I should say is the first quarter of 2024, we were sitting at 10.7% of credit card, uh, you know, people that have credit cards were 10.7% uh, were 90 days or more delinquent on their credit card bills. Now, you might think 10.7%, that's not too bad. You would think of it that way, right? It's, yeah, it's probably not really too bad, right? 10.7%. But if we compare it year over year, so last year at this same time, so in the first quarter of 2023, last year, we were at 8.2%. So just in one year's time, we've gone from 8.2% of people being 90 days or more delinquent on their credit cards to 10.7% uh, the first quarter of 2024. And now, realistically, as I filmed this video in the middle of 2024, this is the most recent data. So this was obviously, um, we're beyond the, uh, or we're basically, you know, the second quarter is basically over at this point. But my point is, this is still talking about the first quarter of the year. So again, we've gone up 2.5% just in one year's time of all the credit cards across the country. That's a lot, right? It might only think like, ah, 2.5%, that's not much, but it actually is quite a bit. Now, this is also actually very interesting as well. As of right now, the average interest rate on a new credit card right now, get this, a record high, 24.71% is the average interest rate on a new credit card right now. That's crazy. I mean, that is absolutely nuts. 24.71% of an average interest rate on a new credit card right now? That's a lot. When I read this, you know what? I logged into my accounts because I have multiple credit cards as well. And I thought, I wonder what my interest rates are because I want to know. I mean, am I sitting at 21 or sorry, 24.7%? No, mine were all right around 22.5%. Uh, kind of across the board. Obviously, they're a little bit different, but right around that 22.5% on mine. And again, not excited about that, right? I don't like to look at these numbers very often because realistically, I don't really want to know. I, I don't want to know how much interest I'm paying on balances. That's a very sad number, right? Considering a couple years ago, guess what the average interest rate was just a couple years ago on credit cards? 17.5% just a couple years ago. So we've gone up, uh, in this case, about 8% according to these numbers here. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot of uh, interest rate hikes. But again, not all that shocking considering uh, what has gone on with interest rates over the last couple of years here. Now, if you're somebody struggling with credit card debt and you're delinquent, or maybe you're not delinquent, but you're just really, really struggling with this and you're having a hard time you know, staying ahead with interest rates going up and um, you know, bills continuing to rack up every single month, if you're struggling with this, best practices suggest, well, first off, there's a lot of different things you could be doing about this, but one thing that I would suggest doing call your credit card provider, whoever that happens to be, right? There's a lot of different options, but whoever the uh, the company is that holds your credit card, call them. Just tell them the situation. You don't need to tell them like personal details. Don't tell them that stuff. They already get it, but just be like, you know, I'm struggling. The debt, uh, the debt keeps racking up. I continue to get more bills every month. I just, my income is not keeping up right now. I'm really struggling to get ahead of this thing. Talk to them, negotiate a lower interest rate. Now, again, I know that sounds ridiculous. Like, ah, they're not gonna negotiate with me on interest rates. 
you would be surprised, okay? It is to their best interest to get you to pay the bill. They don't want to send it to collection. That's like the last thing they want to do, right? Obviously, if you don't pay, they will. <laughs> so get ready, they will pay. If somebody doesn't pay uh, their bills, yeah, it gets sent to collection, right? But that is like a last ditch effort. They do not want to do that. So a lot of times if you call them and say, hey, I'm just here's my situation, I'm really struggling. These interest rates are crazy high. Do you have any type of you know, introductory rate you can lower me down to? Is there anything we can do here? And a lot of times they can, they can be somewhat flexible. It doesn't mean that they're gonna reduce your interest rate. It does not mean that they're gonna come back and say, sure, we can put you on a, a 5% interest rate. No, not happening. But can they lower it a few percentage points? Probably, okay? It certainly does not hurt one bit to ask and try to negotiate this lower. A lot of times they can be somewhat flexible with this. Not only that, a lot of times there's additional fees on top of all this, right? There could be annual fees. There could be other fees associated with your credit cards. Again, the list goes on and on. There's tons of fees, late payments, all kinds of stuff like this. Sometimes they can be flexible on all of this, okay? It does not hurt whatsoever to ask. At the end of the day, a lot of these fees can be very expensive. They add up quickly along with the interest. The best thing to do, call them, have an honest conversation. Just be like, here's my situation. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm struggling to pay you back right now. Can we figure out some of this? Can we negotiate a lower interest rate? Can we negotiate and um, reduce some of the late penalties? Can we talk about some of this? Just have a conversation with them. You would be surprised with what they're willing to do because here's the thing. If it gets to the point where you're not able to pay anymore and they have to send it to collection, um, that's gonna cost them more than what it would actually cost them to just negotiate with you up front in the first place. Does that kind of make sense, right? So again, I know a lot of times it can be um, one of these situations where it's like, ah, I really don't wanna call, I, I, just don't want, I don't wanna have that conversation, maybe I'm embarrassed, that's okay. You're not alone, I just want you to know this. If you're struggling with credit card debt right now or any debt or any bills right now, you are not alone. <laughs> Take your pick, look out your window right now. The, the people that you see walking by on the street or the sidewalk or in your neighborhood or you know in your apartment complex or whatever it happens to be, I guarantee you, they're also struggling, okay? You are not alone, definitely not alone. The vast majority of people right now are struggling beyond what you would ever comprehend um, financially right now, right? I mean, get this, every single quarter, we continue to rack up more and more and more credit card debt. Why? Do we have a spending problem? Do we have a problem buying all kinds of junk that we don't need? Um, no, it's called high prices, it's called high interest rates, it's called inflation, and it's called income that is not keeping up. That's the problem right now. You just look across anywhere. It does not matter the income scale. You could be talking about somebody that earns 10 grand a year, 40 grand a year, 70 grand a year, 100 grand a year, or 150 grand a year, or even more. It does not matter. All income scales are being impacted right now. Just look at the reports. I talk about them all the time. I read about them all the time as well. It does not matter who or what income bracket they're in. <laughs> Everybody's struggling right now, right? Just look across the board. It's nuts. So I just want you to know if you're feeling this way or if this is your situation, you are not alone. Please um, just don't feel bad about it make the phone call, do what you gotta do, but um, there's nothing wrong with negotiating. There's nothing wrong with asking for a removal of some late fees, a reduction in interest rate, whatever it happens to be, they want you basically to pay your bills, right? It benefits them if you pay your bills, right? So, and again, it benefits you as well. The, the interest and the debt keeps, you know, just stops racking up as quickly. So it's beneficial to everybody. Again, I know it's not a fun topic. I know it's not something we want to sit and, um, you know, hammer down and talk about forever. And it's not something we really want to do. If you have any extra money, the last thing you probably want to do with it is pay down credit card debt. But it's kind of the reality, kind of the situation we're in right now because of everything that's been going on the last couple of years. Hooray for us. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, this has been real fun. The last few years, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to do this again. Not, right? So anyway, um, hope this helps you, but I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. I hope this helps to some degree. Please, as always, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, all down below. Leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Again, if you have anything like that, I can come back and talk about it more in a future video or jump on a live stream, whatever you need from me, let me know. Otherwise, um, check out the other videos here on the channel. I have thousands in the video library. I've hand-selected some for you down below in the description or the top of the comment section. You can see the hand-selected videos there. Otherwise, right now, pop up on your screen, you'll see some videos there as well. Take your selection. Have a nice day. Hope one of these helped you as well. And um, I'll catch you again.